Are you thinking of moving to LA? Before you consider moving out here, there are some things that you should know. Hi guys, my name is Mona and I'm a real estate agent here in LA. Not only do I sell real estate here, but I was also born and raised in the area. So it's safe to say I know a thing or two about the lifestyle here. And today I want to talk about what it's really like to live in LA because I feel like there is so much misinformation in the media. So let's get into it. So starting off, Los Angeles County is going to be one of the biggest counties with a population of over 9 million people. So when people say LA is diverse, they're not just talking about the ethnicities of the people who live here, but they're also talking about how diverse the lifestyle can be. So depending on what part of LA you live in and spend most of your time in is going to determine the type of experience that you're going to have. Whether you want city living, beach living, mountain living, suburban living, or even a combination of these things, LA has pretty much everything you could possibly ask for. So let's get into it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, LA is a huge county and there are so many different towns, neighborhoods, and cities in the LA area. Honestly, we could break LA up into so many different parts However, I want to keep things very simple. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to divide LA up into two major parts. The first part is going to be the San Fernando Valley, or as I like to call it, the Valley. And then we're going to have the West Side, which is what people really consider LA. So starting off with the West Side, what areas are going to be considered part of the West Side? are going to be Santa Monica, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Bel Air. We can even include areas like Echo Park, Los Feliz, Venice, Malibu, downtown LA, and more as part of the West Side area. Now, each neighborhood in the LA area, even just on the West Side alone, is going to have its own little unique charm to it. So areas like West Hollywood and Santa Monica are going to have a lot of young professionals a lot of young single people living in these areas. Santa Monica is going to be a beach city that offers a great nightlife and so many fun activities to do. West Hollywood is also gonna be a great area because it's very trendy and there's a lot of fun stuff to do in these areas. West Hollywood is going to have a more active nightlife. It's also going to have a larger LGBTQT community presence with the annual Pride Parade every year taking place in West Hollywood. And anytime you see a viral trendy place to go to in LA, it's typically going to be in West Hollywood, Catch LA, Community Goods, the Poppy Pop-Up we had a few weeks ago are all going to be on Melrose as well as some other amazing shops and restaurants. You also have areas like Brentwood, Bel Air, Pacific Palisades, and Beverly Hills that are going to offer you upscale residential living. So that's where you're going to see a lot of 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and more million dollar homes in these areas of LA. Downtown LA is going to offer you city living, and then you're going to have areas like Venice Beach, Echo Park, Silver Lake, Los Feliz, that are going to have more of that hipster vibe to it. Now that we talked a bit about the west side, let's move on to the San Fernando Valley. So the San Fernando Valley is going to be a lot more suburban than the west side. You're going to get more for your money over here and you're going to see a lot more families here. However, you also have young professionals as well as your favorite athletes and celebrities who actually prefer to live in the San Fernando Valley. And in the past few years, I have definitely seen more people moving to the Valley over the West side. And there are a few reasons why I personally think living in the Valley is actually better than living over on the West side. I've actually done two separate videos about the San Fernando Valley. One of them is talking about the benefits of living here compared to the West side. And the second video is going to be talking about the hotspots here in the San Fernando Valley. So if you guys want to learn more about that, make sure you check out my other videos. I'm going to link it in the description below. The San Fernando Valley has so many different neighborhoods to it. We will talk about these different neighborhoods in more detail. I have done videos talking about Encino as well as Calabasas 
and I will link those videos in the description as well if you want to learn more about it. It is my goal on this channel to really talk about all these different cities and neighborhoods here in LA, what area is good for what and what the charm and appeal is going to be like because like I mentioned, it's a very diverse area and depending on what part of town you end up living in or spending most of your time is going to determine the type of experience that you're going to have. Now, like I was saying earlier, the San Fernando Valley is going to be very suburban, but you still will see a lot of young professionals as well as athletes and celebrities. Now, some parts of the San Fernando Valley that are going to have a lot more of a younger demographic to it is going to be areas like Sherman Oaks and Studio City. These areas will give you kind of the best of both worlds because you're still in the San Fernando Valley, but you get a lot of the amazing benefits that come from living in LA, like that stereotypical LA lifestyle. So I definitely love those areas. They're my personal favorites and I love going there. There's so many amazing restaurants and cafes that I can recommend in that area. And it's also gonna be a lot closer to the west side if you still wanna get to the LA area when you need to be and then come back home when you need to be. Now, as I mentioned earlier, LA is very diverse. We have all these different neighborhoods. So whether you want beach living, mountain living, suburban living, city living, or even a combination of these things, LA has everything you could possibly ask for. However, I haven't talked about any neighborhoods that are located in the mountains. So let's talk about Topanga. So Topanga is going to be located in the mountains between Santa Monica, Malibu, as well as Calabasas and Woodland Hills, right in the middle in the mountains. And it is such a beautiful area. You have these beautiful mountain views throughout. It's a very bohemian, tight-knit community that is away from the hustle and bustle of the city. However, you still have close access to the beach, whether you want to go to the Santa Monica Beach or the Malibu Beach, which each have their own unique charm, or you need to get to the city to take care of your errands. You're close to Woodland Hills as well as Calabasas. Now, I know I was very vague in this video talking about all these different parts of the LA area. However, I just wanted to give you guys a general idea, especially for those of you who have never been out here and you don't really know what it's like in all these different parts of LA because each neighborhood in LA has its own appeal. That's why I absolutely love living here. Now, if you guys want to learn more about the amazing lifestyle here in LA and what neighborhood is good for what, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that is actually my goal here on the channel. It is my goal to talk about all these different neighborhoods and cities here in the LA area to give you an idea of what the benefits are to living in those areas, what's good for what, whether it's good for young professionals, whether it's good for families, what the price point looks like and all of this stuff. I want to keep things very general um, and very to the point because I don't want to overwhelm you. But if you have any questions, make sure you comment them down below. I would love to answer them for you. And if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate here, I'd love to offer my services to you. So let's get in contact because I offer free consultations. All my information will be in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.